morning or good afternoon whenever you're watching this. I am just preparing Crumble's medication because he is on heart failure medication. Just like his mummy, I don't have heart failure but the medication is used to treat what I do have and he is copying me so this is pretty much what I get up to most days and I'm just giving him his morning medication and also does anyone else do this? I'm so guilty of using the mouse enclosure or hamster enclosure, whatever you've got as a table, I need to stop doing it because one day the mesh is not going to withstand what I constantly put on top of it, but I'm just giving him his medication. And this month, I have no idea what I'm going to film because I am not really going to be here, so it should be interesting. Okay, so a bit of a different situation this month. I'm going on a bit of a road trip and I have to take Mr. Crumble with me because he is on a lot of medication. He's on three medications twice a day and I just cannot leave that to be my boyfriend's responsibility. So he is having to come with me. I'm going to pick him a friend to come with. But basically, long story short, the whole dentist situation in this country is a mess. If you move to a different area or move house and need a new dentist, you pretty much cannot get one. And I've had a lot of issues going on. The other week I had such a swollen face that it was actually blocking my airways and I couldn't breathe. And I was on the phone to various different people and medical professionals and no one could help me. I could not get a dentist anywhere near here to help me. So I'm having to go back to my childhood dentist, which is not anywhere near where I live at the moment. And in total this month, I'm going to be driving nine hours to have a bunch of dental procedures done. So not ideal, but I have to do what I have to do. And Crumble cannot go without his medication. So he's having to come with me. I don't often do things like this, but I don't have much of a choice. So Crumble and a friend, I think I'm going to pick Whisper, is coming with me today and then probably the next week and then the week after that. So we're going on a bit of an adventure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cage with me. It's a lot easier to transport. Not ideal, obviously, to keep rats in long term as a hospital cage or introductions or as a travel cage. It's going to be fine for a couple of days. And they're both old boys, which is why I picked Whisper, because he won't mind as much as the babies and it won't disrupt the group as much if I take one of the older rats. So he is coming to keep Crumble company. I'm going to take this cage, pack some food, pack some enrichment, and also pack his medication, of course, cannot forget that. And he's gonna come with me, so I will take you guys along for the road trip. <laughs> okay, we have got hammock, hammock clips, um, a hidey house, foraging toy, foraging toy, foraging toy, hanging bridge thing, and some chew toys, and that is pretty much it. Okay, we are back home now. I honestly might as well have just moved back in with my mum for a month because we are back for about three days before we have to leave again. But I just have too many responsibilities here that I can't ignore. Things like packing your orders, which by the way, thank you so much if you've ordered anything this month and it's been a little bit delayed in shipping. That's because I've probably spent about seven days in total actually at home with your orders. And all of the days I've been here, I've been packing like crazy, but it's just been a bit of a nightmare. 
Also I needed to give the rats the entire cage because they were still in like the half cage from intros. It's just been very stressful but they're all now in the big cage and I was a bit not concerned but interested to see how they would react to having Whisper and Crumble removed because I left the two babies that aren't really babies anymore and putting together whilst I left and I was interested to see their reaction obviously to disrupting the group but they were actually really excited to see them when I got back and they were just grooming them like crazy so no fights or anything, nothing too disruptive which is good. But yeah, they now have the entire rat cage and I feel way better about leaving them with more space. And this is just a setup that I threw together really quickly. I also just did a deep clean on the mouse enclosure, so I'll put the clips in of that. So I just thought I would quickly talk about my decision making process when it comes to picking a friend to take along if you have to travel with a rat for whatever reason. Obviously sometimes it doesn't make sense to take the entire group and disrupt everyone. It can be quite stressful obviously going into the car and then going into an entirely different house so I didn't want to take everyone. Obviously if I was still in the early stages of intros I probably would have taken the entire group but I do only have a small cage to take. That is literally the only cage that I can fit in my tiny smart car so it didn't really make sense to take everyone along and stress everyone out but I had to pick which rat to go with him very carefully so I did originally pick Whisper because I do have a small rat cage to take and it is perfectly fine as a travel cage. It is only for like two or three days so it's not going to kill them to be in a slightly smaller cage but my initial thought process was to pick Whisper because he's older, he's less energetic and won't mind being in a smaller space for a short period of time. But I actually think next time I'm not going to take a Whisper with me because he did appear quite stressed out and he is an older rat so I don't want to risk that too much. He was quite fluffed up the entire time and I don't think he really enjoyed the entire process. Crumble on the other hand, he loves people, he got many different snacks and he just didn't care. As soon as he got there he started eating and he just wasn't bothered but Whisper was not a happy bunny. He was fluffed up and quite stressed so... Whisper is not coming with next time and I'll probably have to pick one of the babies. I don't think pudding is an option because he is huge. He's literally the size of the rat cage itself so don't want to stick his big body. Sorry pud. His big body into that rat cage. So it's either going to be Polo or Crumpet. Wow that is nice. I think I'm going to pick Polo because he is a lot more outgoing and I think he'll actually enjoy it. So change of plans coming with me next time. See, he's just unbothered. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Are you alive? Polo. So it is once again time to leave again. Come on, Crumble. Let's go see your grandma. Come on. <laughs> Good boy. Polo, you're going to have to wake up, bud. Hello. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hello. Sorry. Come on. We're going on a road trip. I think you'll actually quite enjoy yourself. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Ready? Millipede cam. I feel like every time one of the millipedes is out, which is not very often, I have to document it. So here is Jubbly looking very cute. Well, not many people would say that, but I think you're cute. Back here we have one very grumpy noodle. She has so many options when it comes to places to hide. And she's just choosing to hide underneath the very ugly exoterra background, but that's fine. Whatever she fancies. Hi, Ru. I bet you're glad that I'm leaving again, huh? <laughs> I'll see you soon.
Okay, so I just thought I would show you how I've been giving Crumble his medication. He is on three separate medications. I'm gonna try not to dox myself, but this one is just a liquid one, which is fairly straightforward. And then he's on two other ones, which are just in tablet form. So what you do with those is you have these vials, you fill them up to the line with water, put the tablet in or the contents of the tablet, and then shake them to mix them up. This is quite fun, it feels like I'm in a science lesson again, having to do this every week or so. But then you use the contents of that vial, and then when it runs out, you make another one. Kind of confusing at first, but it is fairly straightforward when you know what you're doing and you just follow your vet's instructions. So that is how we mix his medication. So when it comes to actually getting him to take his medication every day, twice a day, this is our foolproof method because I have tried various different things over the years, things like trying them with milk paste or mixing it with baby food, and although they do work sometimes, sometimes they get bored and then don't take them, and if you have a rat that has to have medication every day, twice a day, sometimes it can take them half an hour to persuade them to eat the food, and it's just a lot, so this is quick and easy. It might not work for your rats, but for Crumble, he loves this and it takes him seconds to take his meds, so... So what I do, I talk about this all the time, is I use this powder, this is called Wait Up Baby by Rat Warehouse, and it's just a chocolate flavoured powder. I do need to buy some more because we are going to be out very soon, but what I was doing, which did use up a lot more of this, is I would make a portion of this with water and then mix it up, and then add the medication in, and that made quite a large portion of food, which he would get bored halfway through, and then you don't know how much of the medication he's actually had, so... What I do instead of doing that, because that was similar to having the same amount of food as if you were to mix it with malt paste or baby food, what I do instead is I've just put all of his medication into the bowl and then literally all I'm doing is just adding enough of this powder to make it into a wet food, kind of like a flavoured, a chocolate flavoured medication, just to mask the taste, so really not very much of it at all, just enough to kind of mix it together and then he doesn't get bored because he's not getting very much of it and it's just like a tiny treat. So that seems to be the thing that's working the best for us at the moment. Obviously if you have a sick or an old rat that is underweight and they need weight gaining foods anyway or extra feedings then mixing the medication into that does make sense but Crumble is an okay weight and he was getting a bit bored halfway through so this is the best way that I found to get him to take his medication and can't forget I also put this in every single day. This is Pacatine. Again, I talk about this all the time. This, I feel like, has extended his lifespan just with this alone because this is a kidney support powder and all you do once a day, where's the hole, <laughs> is take a pinch of this, put it in, and then, oh my gosh, I just got that everywhere, and then mix that in too. So, that is one half of his daily medication. He gets it in the morning and then whatever time it is now, like what, the evening, six-ish? So yeah, let's go give this to him. Grimble, what's this? Lick that off first. Lick that off first, good boy. Ready? So all I do is, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold it tilted like this and then eats it, good boy. Is that nice? Are you finished? There's a tiny bit more. Get it? Good boy. This bit. Good boy. See? Pretty much lick the whole thing clean, so that is the most effective way and the quickest way that I get him to take medication, so <laughs> what are you doing? That's my thumb. Definitely recommend getting some sort of powder, even if you can't get that specific one, because it is a lifesaver. <laughs> Because his back legs are not working quite as well anymore, he keeps coming to me and asking me to scratch his back for him. And of course, I will do it until the end of time, but he does that thing that dogs do. Let me see if I can get him to... <laughs> Grumble, you're so cute. Is that a nice scratch? So I just thought I would show you some of the new products I have in my store at the moment. If you're not interested, that is completely fine, and you can skip ahead to this timestamp, but I do feel like I've neglected my store a bit, just being so busy, and I always forget to like mention or show it in videos, so I just thought I'd show you because I've made a conscious effort to source a lot more new products, and I'm really excited about it. So, 
The first thing is, if you're familiar with my mouse enclosure, you'll know that I use these as the background just to make it a bit more natural looking. So I thought I need to sell them in my store. So we have these, these are just grass mats. You can use these as hammocks and hang them up or bury them in the bedding. So many uses for something that is so simple. So that is the first thing. Then if we start over on this side, we have two of the Naturals herbs. This one, if you make your own rat food, you might be familiar with using this in your mix. So if you do, we now sell this in the store. And then we also have this one. I think this one has pumpkin in, which is interesting. So two different variations of those. We then also have this foraging toy, which is a very interesting shape. Basically you screw this into the cage. This one is my boys, but I'm gonna try with them in a minute, I think. You basically attach it like this and they can spin this to try to get the food out so a bit different not like any foraging toy that I've seen before. Then I also made sure to get some of these wooden platforms. These are great for hamsters or mice to put their wheels on or their bowls on just to stop them burying them in the bedding so we have a couple of those. Then we also have a few ceramic items which is really exciting. I've kind of held off on stocking these because I was just too nervous about them breaking and shipping but we'll see how we go. The first thing is this bowl, super cute, I think it's supposed to be like lettuce leaves or something. And then we have a bunch of ceramic hides, so this one is just an animal one and this comes in blue or green. I think this is probably best suited to hamsters, like dwarf hamsters or mice, I'm not sure. Maybe smaller Syrians would fit in this, but these are really good, especially at this time of year when it's getting a bit warmer, they can have a cooler place to sleep. And then these were too cute not to get. We've got a sweet corn, a watermelon, and an apple one. These I'd say probably only best suited to mice because they are a bit on the smaller side. Then we also have some new treats. We have got yogurt drops, vegetable buttons, and honey buttons. These have very limited ingredients in, only a couple of ingredients per one, so not too many additives and things like that. Then we also have, this is really exciting, this coconut like ladder bridge hide thing. I am tempted to get one for my mice and steal it for the mice because this would look so cute hung up in the top of their enclosure, but oh my gosh, we have that. And then we have more of these cardboard hides. I have got a couple already, but I found the different shaped ones, so there is this one, which is interesting, and then this one, which is an even more interesting shape, like a ski shape, ski, ski slope shape, so there's that. Then I've also started stocking the willow tunnels in the small size. This is a perfect size for hamsters and mice. I need to get my mice another one of these because they have literally got like this much of it left, so they love it. They love to chew it and destroy it, which is what mice do best. And then we have another foraging toy. This one is like a more natural one and it's kind of like a grassy cup texture. Inside is a bunch of like shredded paper. You've got lollipop sticks. You can hide food in the different sections. So that is great. You could use this for mice or rats. It's kind of like a good in-between size. And then this is also really exciting. My boys, some of them love this, some of them are a bit too stupid to use it, but this is another foraging toy. I would probably say only use this during their free roam, but you can hide the treats under this and they have to pull them out to find them, so that is that. And then the final two things are these two toys. We have these ones, which are like a grassy chain type thing. You could hang this up or just have it as a floor toy. And then these ones, which are... Come on camera, focus. Sugar cane and grass sticks. So lots of natural toys in here. That is my aim to get a lot more natural products. But yeah, lots of new interesting products in the store. If anything is out of stock when you're watching this or trying to place an order, don't worry, I will restock things on a weekly basis or try to at least. So just keep checking back with the store. I will try to keep things as in stock as possible. But yeah, really exciting. Week number three, who is the claw gonna select? Is it you? Is it you? It's you. I think you secretly enjoyed yourself last time. You got so many cuddles and treats. Does it feel like deja vu? Cause it's starting to feel that way to me. And you again, good boy. Off we go again, <laughs> my goodness. Okay, I 
am too tall for this tripod but besides actually going home for the dentist again <laughs> this weekend I am also going to Crufts. Now I considered not including this in the vlog because I know people are very very divided but it is a part of my month so I stand somewhere in the middle. I know a lot of people are very against that whole side of the dog world but there's definitely aspects and breeds I don't agree with. I've never been so I feel like I can't pass too much judgement until I've actually experienced it myself. So I am going to Crufts on Sunday, it is going to be the gun dog day so more my type of dog, not so much the small like brachycephalic breeds, I'm not interested in seeing them at all so I am going to Crufts on Sunday and I wanted to kind of explain why I'm going because I know some people are very very against it. So we are on a waiting list for a puppy at the moment and I'll make a more detailed video closer to the time talking about our decision making process obviously between adopting and going to a good breeder but just to give you the quick rundown before I get all of the adopter and shop brigade in the comments one of the main reasons we are going to a breeder is because I want to train my own dog to be my assistance dog and be a cardiac alert dog so that's one of many reasons we've decided to go this route hopefully you guys can respect that but the reason we're going to Crufts this weekend is one mostly for the shopping and two my future dog sibling and cousin is going to be there and also obviously other dogs representing the breed and if you are going down the reptile breeder route it's really good to meet other dogs of that breed before you get one and this is like one of the best chances to do that so that's one of the reasons I'm going, mostly for the shopping. I might go a bit crazy on the dog supplies, depends what's there and depends how much it is, but I could come back with a lot of dog supplies that I then have to store somewhere, but... Oh, also, I bought this the other day. It is from b and I thought this would be so cute for the mice. It was only £4. It is supposed to be a birdhouse, but I just thought this was too cute. Not to get, very off topic, but... Yeah, that is the reason I'm going to Crufts. The next following clips is going to probably be of Crufts and I will talk about my experience when I'm back. So I am back home now again and I'm back from Crufts. I did buy a couple of things that are in this bag and I thought I'd give you like a puppy or a dog haul of the couple of things I bought. But first I thought I'd talk about my experience because obviously it was my first time going to Crufts or going to anything like this and it wasn't quite what I expected. Obviously there's kind of like the side you see on the TV and the side you see when you're there and they're two very different things in my opinion. Going there is mostly just the shopping experience. There was a few things I wanted to watch, like the agility, because I would like to get into doing agility with our dog, and we could just not find where that was happening 
we got lost, it was really overwhelming and busy so it kind of feels like two separate things and it's mostly shopping when you're there. I will say as well it's not quite what I expected in terms of like the showing of the dogs. When you see it on the TV it's quite serious and I thought the dogs had to stand perfect the entire time. It's not really like that at all. As you can see in some of the previous clips, some of the dogs are having such a good time. Some of them were doing tricks whilst they waited to be seen. Some of them were jumping around, being really goofy, and jumping into their owner's arms, which I was not expecting because Crufts is like as serious as it gets in the dog showing world. And some of the dogs were just messing around and having a good time. So not as serious and strict as I expected. And most, if not all of the dogs, seemed really happy to be there so that was a positive experience but I thought I would show you what I bought. The first thing is from Birmingham Dogs Home and I wanted to just buy something to support them so I got this duck toy, I had to get a duck one. If you watched the previous clips I'm pretty sure it's very obvious what breed we're getting based on how many of that breed I actually filmed but I had to get this, I think it squeaks maybe? Don't know. But this was really cute, it seems quite durable and I just wanted to buy something to support them so that is the first thing. The next toy I picked up is this one, it's a soft toy and I bought this mostly for myself because I thought if I was a dog I would love to play with this and it's like a log kind of thing. On the inside is a bunch of squirrels the dog has to pull out so I mostly bought this because I thought it was cute but when I posted this on Instagram, a lot of you said your dogs really enjoy this, so that's good. The next thing I bought is a licky mat. Now we got two of these, one for my dog and one for my mum's dog, and he has been really enjoying his at the moment, but I did also want to get, they had a couple of other shapes. One is kind of like a bowl shape, but it was the end of the day and I think they were kind of almost sold out. And I'm the queen of picky. I wanted them to be only in green, so this was the only one they had, I think. I can either get the rest of them on Amazon or something. So we have a licky mat. The last couple of toys I bought are these. These are from a business called Canine Connectables. And if you're familiar with Kongs, they essentially work in the same way where you stuff their food into the different sections. Then you can attach them together like this. And they have to pull them apart to get to the food. They also have different sections for treats. And they have specific size treats that they sell to go into these specific sections. Unfortunately, they did give me a bunch of free treats, but they are going to be out of date by the time that we get our puppies. So I did lend one of the toys to my mum's dog and gave him all of the treats. So he is now benefiting from that enrichment and I'll get that back when I get our dog. But basically all they do is you connect them together and they also gave me in the starter pack these suction cups. So these you can suction the toys to the floor or to like a door or something and make it a bit more tricky for them. So these and then also the toy that is with my mum's dog at the moment is part of the starter pack and I'm really excited so some enrichment toys, some cuddly toys, that is basically all I bought from Crufts. I was expecting to buy a bit more but I just found it really difficult to actually find what I was looking for because it was so busy. But that is it for this month's vlog, it has been a long old month, I'm exhausted and I still have to go back for two dentist appointments. He is not finished, I'm left with a half finished root canal and they can't get me in until the end of April to go back again so I'm in a lot of pain right now. Did you miss me? I think you secretly did, even though you're grumpy with me right now. I think you secretly missed me while I was gone. Hmm? But as always, thank you so much to my channel members for your support. I will put the name of the wrapped here on screen right now. But if you are interested in becoming a channel member, that is where all of the exclusive updates happen. Before I put them in videos or anywhere else, they will go to my channel members. So if you are interested, the join button is underneath this video. But thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to subscribe. Please don't hit me in the face. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye, Grumpy.